All right, so I'm building a phonograph, and right now I'm just grouping up all of the parts like the instructions say. Now that all of the parts are grouped together, like the instructions said, I'm gonna start assembling the phonograph. Now it does come with some extra screws right there and some bolts, and now we have the screwdriver that I'll be using. Now I did not have a magnetic one, so actually placing the screws uh, was a little bit difficult. And I wasn't sure how to orient the motor the motor's wires here on the back, but just kind of shoved it in there and hoped for the best. So I did have a problem with the on and off switch. The the switch didn't actually turn off the motor. <laughs> uh, and I found out that was because the top screw was not uh, screwed in enough. So it was in constant contact with that metal bar there, uh, which of course kept it on. So here I'm just demonstrating what the problem is. It's not really doing anything. So I was able to figure that out and now I'm just moving on to the recording head and all of a sudden I was told that I needed to cut some extra pieces out from that plastic piece um, which came from the packaging so I had to like dig in the garbage to find that. I'm guessing the extra circles were options so instead of just using the copper circle you could use some of the other options. So here is the finished product, the phonograph, and then here's the motor running. Be on the lookout for the next video of me actually recording and playing something back using this phonograph.